afternoon everyone. Just uh, stuck on the uh, Tonkin Highway car park. That's uh, the um, Friday Arbo. Just heading down South Caradale for the long weekend. It's the uh, June long weekend. Weather forecast this weekend is not very good. A lot of rain. Um, I saw forecast the other day. We're expecting between 20 and 45 mils of rain tomorrow. Um, hopefully that, that's wrong, hopefully. Cross fingers. Still going down anyway. But uh, Tongan Highway is just packed out at the moment. It's been slow going, so. My ETA there, according to Google Maps, is 10 to 8 tonight. All right, let me track in the right. Time is almost half past five. Um, where am I? Somewhere. Uh, Travelling well. Freeway's moving quite nicely. So I'm at the moment is uh, just before eight o'clock. Still on track. Um, this is on, on Sue's Road at the moment. Got about another 15 k's to get to uh, the Brockman Highway. ETA there is still about 8 o'clock. Otherwise travelling well. Uh, this part of Sue's Road it's actually been quite dry um, in spots. Um, there's quite a few showers while we're on the, um, the Busso, Busso Highway stuff on there. And um, cable. But around here I haven't had much rain here so which is good. Almost there, almost there, not far from the house now. Just a couple more kilometers away. Alright, at the property now. We have got a fire going over there. Um, very quickly set my camp trailer up. This is a very, very rough temporary setup. At least I don't have to be a shelter if it's night's sleep. But I'm trying something different, and that's I've actually tied a tarp onto the top of the uh, tent just to help give me a little bit more protection um, we're expecting 70 mils of rain tomorrow apparently so while I've been in the rain with this camp trailer before I'm not worried about this side yet this side is going to be awning tomorrow uh, yeah but while I've been in the rain heaps of this before I've never done 70 mil of rain in my, ca in my camp trailer so just going to give me some type of bit more extra protection I think Anyway, so we're good. Let's finish setting up, and then I should be good. Morning, everyone. Time's about eight o'clock. Tough idea did work. Kept a lot of the water off. Off the main tent. Um, didn't rain till about four o'clock this morning. A bit of wind. Um, I'm just quickly having breakfast. Breakfast today is pink snapper, which was supposed to be last night's dinner. Cooked on the induction cooker. You don't have to worry about wind that way. Anyway, I'm going to smash this down and see what's on for the rest of the day. Alright, we are heading off for a little trip uh, before the uh, weather comes in. Um, latest report is 100k gusts coming and expecting 75 mils of rain in the Arvo. So, um, myself and a couple others have uh, readjusted their camera trailers, uh, try to make it a bit more weatherproof. Shift the tarp over a little bit more just to give me a bit more northern protection, which is where they're expecting the weather to come through on. And we'll see what happens. What happens, so um, yeah, anyway, we're going to do a little four drive trip now. We're going to head towards um, Sue's Road or something and just track him back through there. And they came back before the storm hits. Just about to turn off now on the main road and let my air down here and keep going in the bush. And turning right into Blackwood Avenue. Click it for the drive. We're just going to pull up here. It's not like there's a billion of people out here. Blackwood River or Ave, whatever it is, Blackwood River Road. 
Um, the track I think is predominantly going to be like this. So they're only airing down to about 30. Um, it's going to be hard. I'm not expecting any super soft stuff. Um, I'm probably running ready, running low to mid 30, so I'm not going to air down at all. Stay where I am. Weather seems to be holding out at the moment. A bit of a blue sky there. The white stuff in between. Moving quite quickly. Anyway, some fish airing down and head off. Alright, heading off now. Um, and just saying we've got about 6k's to go and then turn off and go up a big hill. So, a few big puddles around. It's all really, really hard ground. It has been slippery. Blackwood Avenue is carried on to the right. We are going to carry on straight on this road, which takes us to Gary's Hill. And it's been dubbed Gary's Hill because that's where Gary got stuck on it. And then we'll come back down this way and turn left down Blackwood Avenue. So we're just pulling in here somewhere. It's a little downhill just here, I think. in this little spot just behind me here. There we go. Let's go for a little walk. I need to stop now. Where'd you enclose the footwear, mate? Yeah. Well, that toenails. <laughs> but see this is the, right. see the, the top up gone. there. Mummy's gone. It's gone. See where that tree's down? Yeah. It's up the other side of that. Oh. Up to the left. You can't do it anymore. It's gone. So this is what they're naming Gary's Hill, which is now inaccessible. Fallen trees and stuff like that. Gone. Anyway, here is the Blackwood. And the water looks very, very clear. Can I see any fish swimming in there? No. He's under a little, little water. I reckon I'm going to be able to get down close to the water line here.
you're at the spot really 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 clear I keep looking to see if there's like any fish and stuff in there a little bit of thunder earlier it's a very weedy bottom Gently start to sprinkle now. Just a little bit of thunder in the background, I don't know if you can hear it in the camera. Alright, I think the water's gotten into something because it's an ignition on. I don't ever recall seeing an ATP light come on the dash. The moment you carry on to stop the car. So we're just gonna carry on down here and then take that left. So we're gone. So it said there's a roo to the right. Just how we get in there. Saw him. Probably burst up in that. Still there. Just staring at me. Through the tree line. Over there somewhere. So cyclist is here. Gotta be mad to be cycling in there. Gotta be mad to be cycling. I 
So it is almost one o'clock. So it sounds like that might be the plan. All right, just uh, leaving the um, berry farm. Had a great lunch. Um, we're gonna head back to the house now. Get the going. Right, we are here for a pyro weekend. And there has been lots of thunder going on. So I thought I might throw a little bit of wood on the top of the uh, fire, get it going again. And I'll use some of these big blocks to help shelter the uh, fire underneath. So they're not there to be burnt, they're there to be sheltering the wood uh, and, the, and the fire underneath. So. But I've got a feeling they won't last very long as a shelter. Rain's coming now though, it's not dropping my head already. Just quick my dirty steak and fire there. Intense heat. Searing the outside really quickly. I have to keep it medium around the inside. Put that away a little bit. It's need to help me to reach the cook it. As you can hear, a lot of thunder, a lot of lightning as well. But I'm near to cook my steak. Right, don't come down. Got my steak medium rare. Doesn't help the fact that I dropped it while I'm trying to get them there. He's sitting over there. No one else is running around trying to protect themselves. Thunder and lightning's here. <laughs> oh, it's under there. Everyone's inside. Fire's still going. So the front's definitely almost here. She comes.
at the moment after all the rain we had last night belted down but believe it or not this fire burnt through the whole night so this PC was left and this little ring there was left and it only just went out about 5 a.m. this morning um, I've rolled that piece and that piece in a little closer Let's see if we get through all these for tonight pyro that I am um, had heaps and heaps of rain last night. Uh, tents are really, really dry still, thankfully. Um, we have a couple of brews in this paddock this morning. Anyway, our plan today, I think, is might go down to Bob's track, see what the uh, beach is like, and then we might go check out North Point and then carry on. I'm not sure yet. We'll make it up as we go along. And we're just running, trying to chase the roos. Here she comes, come on. Okay, we're doing a quick little trip this morning. I'm um, gonna head down Bob's track, check out uh, Barren Up Beach, see, see what the surf's doing, see the tides up high, which I expect it is. Uh, and then we're gonna try, on the way back up, we're gonna try a different track we've never done before. And I'm gonna see if I can find my way to Hammond Bay uh, via the tracks in the back end. Turning right. Four to the right. Cheerios, we'll stop the hubs here and we'll keep going. Let's go. Might steam the low range to start up with. I thought exactly the same thing. Well, these ruts at the very start aren't normally here. away of all the rains we've had. Nice big water crossing. Yeah, definitely not going that way. Deep. Hey guys, you guys You're good? Crossy, no. Yeah, <laughs> I was expecting to be that day. <laughs> Channel 10. Okay. Channel 10. They're going to join us. Um, they've fixed these ruts here. They've actually limestone and stuff like that, so it's nice, nice and easy. Yeah, I remember that was a big step off the 
uh, to see you. Yeah, yeah. And we are almost on the beach. Blowing like anything. Won't be going onto the beach though. Yes. Borrowed up beach, Bob's track. Sorry about the wind. to negotiate on the way back down. I'm um, just going to head back to camp, have some lunch and then we'll probably go out again. Alright, we had a bit of lunch at the campsite and now we head back off again. Um, we're basically going to be making our way through up to North Point and having a little oncoming. the uh, tracks up there We've just rocked up to the Boron Up lookout and the lookout is windy as wind so this is the Boron Up lookout ocean back there Let's start looking inland just through here detour to uh, the Brian Up Lookout and now we're on our way to North Point. No. Reminds me of a show did this catch when all those um, crab fishermen are all out there and Stupidly big weather. As Michelle said, somebody would have gone out. I'm going to turn right here somewhere. Halfway to uh, North Point, and it looks pretty rough. We are getting closer to uh, North Point. That looks fantastic. Oh, I forgot my surfboard. Let's go back. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Just body bash. <laughs> Give me a drop on the left. Just 
the side. There's a couple of people fishing over there. Um, that's the beach to Baranat Beach. Have the bay down the end. A bit more protected from the wind here. Still pretty rough. Okay, almost back on the main track now um, from North Point. Um, I'm actually going to try a couple of other tracks that I've never done before. I don't imagine them to be hard, it's just something I've never done them before, so I might go exploring those as well. The uh, start of this new track doesn't look too bad. I want to bleed it onto anything harder. The answer to that question is no. Maybe it's up into something even easier. Another unknown mystery track. Can't do that, I'm back and forward right. I wonder if this is actually like the uh, quad bike tours come through here because it looks like small tyres. standard track but there was a sign back there saying this is a road we just jumped out of the car had a quick look at these tracks in front of us there is a uh, quad bike tour you can do through the uh, forest here I reckon that th this is what that track is what they've been using but there's also um, horses hoof prints everywhere and um, we definitely see two horses. G'day mate, how you going? Yeah, right. Not bad. That's ha good. Have fun. Thank you. Hello. I was right. Check that out. It's the sun. Anyway, we're back at camp. We've got the uh, fire going. We're about to sit back and we'll enjoy ourselves down there. I'm about to go and get a jacks and sit down and enjoy the fire as well. I think we're doing um, pizzas tonight for dinner. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Okay, pizza night. We've got two barbies going. Fire going. Then we have a warmed up. We've got a pizza stuff there. Okay, we're Morning everyone, this is the fire from last night still going, looks like a bit of flame still right here, how will that sit right there, will it sit, not quite, let's kick it a little bit, but yeah, that'll do, that's really hot there still, anyway, Another great trip, despite the weather. Still a great trip. Weather didn't really do too too bad for us. Um, and now it's the horrible part of packing up. Another great club trip.